Hello, my name is uh, Michael Peters. Um, as many of you know, um, Dr. Zoan E. Dreyer from Texas Children's Hospital has uh, lied in my son's medical report. Uh, all the evidence is on YouTube. Uh, to gain custody of my son Dalton Peters to my wife. Well, Judge Tracy Gilbert, who was here in the divorce in Conroe, Texas, is a Baylor grad. Uh, Dr. Zoanne Dreyer is a is from Baylor, works at Baylor, uh, employed at Baylor, works at, at Texas Children's Hospital at the Cancer Center. She's kind of like the Facebook over there in the Cancer Center. She's a big person. Her husband works uh, at Texas Children's Hospital as well. They're clearing uh, a good million something a year. And uh, between Baylor, who insures Dr. Dreyer, and, uh, and Texas Children's Hospital, where she lied in their medical records, these two people, entities, Baylor College of Medicine, Texas Children's Hospital, <laughs> they don't want. I, I picketed that hospital, calling her a front liar with a picture of her for two and a half months, and they did nothing. They know I have the evidence, and but they don't want this to go public. They don't want it to go to court. So they paid off Judge Tracy Gilbert in Conroe, Texas. And uh, and another judge who was incorporated to do the dirty work in the end uh, for Gilbert, because I guess he took his money and ran. Uh, James um, uh, Esquire out of Hempstead, Texas. As a father, now I risked my life for three years in Iraq. I didn't care if I lived or died because I was doing my country a favor and I was providing for my family, my son, giving them a home some land, something that will be that their father built for them. Stolen by these judges to protect or getting paid off. I have the evidence. CPS is on my side. The evidence is 100% sound. No one in their right mind could see it otherwise. Everybody who sees it knows it's official corruption. I'm asking you as a father, do I let these people steal my son through this doctor's lie so that Texas Children's Hospital, Baylor College of Medicine don't get sued just because the judges were paid off? Or do I risk my life again, like I did in Iraq? What good is life in America if these people can take everything that you have, your only son, your land, your home, your money, all through a, a lie and a cover-up? What good are we? How indispensable are we? This is organized crime. Plain and simple. I have the evidence. I need to know from the American public what I need to do now. The cover-up sound. I mean, there's nothing backing it. The evidence, the, all, all the Texas Medical Board saying, we don't do criminal matters. We don't do civil and criminal matters. I never asked them. I want to know why she lied in my son's medical record, saying I didn't give him one medicine that I have the 
CPS knows I gave them. Everybody under the sun knows I have them. I was giving them lab results, everything. Pharmacy receipts. That this lame lie was faxed to my wife's attorney to use that lie to take my son, and it was all too obvious. Even the one judge who stole my land, him and his realtor friend, crossed off all the medical neglect. I didn't ask him to. No one asked him to. I wasn't even at that hearing, but he scratched it all off. Do I continue to risk my life? Give my life this time, maybe? To make my point? To stop this from happening to other people? We wonder why people go nuts in this country. All of a sudden, they go off. Ask yourself why. My case, the evidence is there. No one wants to look at it. Not in this state. The cover-ups, all in place. Senators, Governor Rick Perry. They might as well have killed me. Or go ahead and kill me. Because she's not stealing my son. And getting away with it just to protect the doctor and where she works who lies in medical reports. No wheel. Steal your son, your land, and your property because I'm a nobody and this doctor who lies in medical reports, your children's medical reports. Was able to work, make her millions of dollars. Been a little on the side, I guess, for these judges. Because payoff seems to be the way it goes here in the great state of Texas. Well, you officials here in Texas have given me very little choice. Or what I should be doing. Fifty-eight years old, you stole my only son. You stole the roof, our home, our money. <laughs> Give me nothing. No options. It's not as if you're not lying and covering up this doctor. If it was, I would say, you know, if, she, if it was the truth, I wouldn't have a problem. But I have the evidence on my side. I can't sit back. That you steal my only son? Do this doctor's lie because you want her money? What's going on with this country? What kind of America are we living in that you start stealing children? Their homes, their future, their father. Our love for one another. <laughs> what choices do I have? My email is A L L K R A F T E N G at Yahoo.com. I ask for anybody's advice. Outside of these corrupt officials here in Texas. God bless you.